I started in 2004, so the war was officially over. Um, but I think it was just out of frustration, you know. So I, what I do is I decide to build this website. We who portray Sierra in a more positive light, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, try to get people to see uh, the more, and that's not for one minute. We need to try to say we not get problems. Right. We do have problems, mm -hmm. um, and we still have a lot of challenges. But the point is, it's not the whole picture. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, there's another side we, you, that you might not see in the news, right. and that is of people that are trying to do positive things, mm -hmm. of a beautiful, beautiful country, and of beautiful people as well, mm -hmm. you know. And I felt, you know, in order for make we get some balance, we need to put a bit more positive information. How did the whole kind of VSL forums, which is the Visit Sierra Leone Discussion Forum, how did that, like, gain its identity because for somebody who's been on there like it's amazing that so many people care so much and they just turn up every week to talk about new things to like it was almost like a competition of who knew what what had just happened in Sierra Leone who had been the first to post make a comment do you understand what I mean like yeah. it just seemed like people were really really invested in the forum I think interestingly um initially um and I'm, I'm not being interested in the forum okay uh, because uh Oh, let's say it wasn't part of the immediate plan right because there was a few forums out there but mm -hmm. what can happen is people tend to it tends to get very political right very quick and uh, people tend to um, you know become very hostile mm -hmm. so I'm not being really sure because that wasn't the sort of atmosphere that right, I wanted to create. Um, mm -hmm. create there was a guy you remember Salon, Salon Man yes there was a Salon Boy and a Salon Man yes, I do remember Salon, Salon, Salon Man yes Salon man. he actually emailed me privately mm -hmm. and said I should you know consider putting a forum mm -hmm. and he, you know he would help to stimulate you know, discourse debate mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff so eventually I am um, you know, I, I created one for the site. Mm -hmm. But I think what happened was because the site itself focuses on the positive aspects of Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. maybe it naturally attracts people right, to that, more positive. from that positive sort of people that want to see progress and mm -hmm. want to know about progress and contribute to progress. Mm -hmm. So I think because not that I mean the platform, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people that sort of, um, you know, uh, came to the site mm -hmm. uh, had the same feelings and there were people that you know, wanted genuinely to make a difference right. you know, and to invest or to participate in things that contributed to the development of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what happened and people just sort of participated and there was a lot of debate. We don't talk about all kinds of things. <laughs> you know, we talked about everything. You know, there's a general thing that, you know, a lot of Sierra Leoneans talk about, like the news and all that kind of stuff. But there's also, we shouldn't forget, like travel mm -hmm. information where you can get people who maybe have never come to this country mm -hmm. before, um, especially like, you know, then kind of 2004 time, still had a lot of apprehension. Right, right. So they don't get woke in a salon. Right, and they're, they're like, oh my God. Like, you know, you sure you, you sure? want to go there, you know, and people let me give them free, right. so they're looking for somewhere where they can get like good advice, you know. So we provided a lot of advice to people that are looking to travel here, advice mm -hmm. and reassurance. Mm -hmm. uh, but also we created a platform where Sierra can share a lot of ideas about ways that we can we can move the country forward. So, for the final most important question, do you think you're going to stay in Sierra Leone? Yeah. There's absolutely, you know, it's time for go. <laughs> you know, you, you, you were home, you left home. In general, do you think that people who've come back have like a major role to play in Sierra Leone's, some people like to call it renaissance, I don't know if it's renaissance, but in, you know, Sierra Leone in the 10 year, in the next 10 years, where do you think that people return citizens and diasporans and returnees or JCs and home basers, like people who come back from the diaspora, those of us who were away for a while, what role do you think we have to play in? And, and do you think we will succeed in whatever that role is? I think, see, they get a huge role for play. Mm -hmm. um, also, as much as uh, people will be always there, also have a role to play. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of the problems um, uh, one of the things we come about of the war is we lost a lot of skilled people mm -hmm. you know there were people skilled we left behind mm -hmm. but the fact is a lot of people like educated people mm -hmm. left, mm -hmm. you know um, now some of them people and they also don't go they're not able right. for you know further their education mm -hmm. and also get jobs right. um, and get you know practical work experience mm -hmm. so if they have people and they decide to come back mm -hmm. I think say definitely you know then we get what you call a skills gap, right. you know, and I think 
definitely like improve. Yeah, 